So can right. we do a drift on this thing now here, like on the uh, on this corner? Yes, without me in the car. No, why? Oh, come on. No, so no, let's no. Go no, 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 no. You can really trust me. No, we need no, no. Mate, it's not a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. No, don't do it. You have really to believe you me. Have, you have to get no, used to the car. Mate, it's not a problem. You have okay, to get used so to the car. So what do I do? I just I, I go for it. No, like you have to okay. get used to the car. No. Mate kindly is already in the car, Mate Rimac, and uh, I'm going to jump in now and we're going to take the car out for the first drive through the mountains. Um, it's going to be really good fun. I've got my, uh, I've got my shoe protectors on and my gloves because I, like I like to take care of, uh, of the car, but now I can take them off. What yep. is this uh, three glove thing here? Oh, that's uh, insurance. That's very good to have, <laughs> yes? Especially with the way that we're going to be driving. What? Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Whoa, this is a tight, uh, tight drive. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's Are a tight. Are you serious? <laughs> As a first drive, I need to get through there or what? Yeah. Okay, looking good? Just be careful. The rear is wider than the front. Okay. You're good, you're good, I think. And how do I see the, uh, the left now? Jesus. It's good. Okay, and the rear there is looking good. And the left is looking good. All good. You know, without these cameras, I wouldn't have managed to get out there. <laughs> that was very helpful. <laughs> that's why we made them. <laughs> wow, first drive, that's insane. I look forward to seeing it also in the sunlight. It's yeah, different, yeah, different yeah exactly, right? exactly. To the extreme uh, showroom light. The first drive from a uh, Remax Nevera uh, production car. Yes, with a customer. Yes. With a customer. And you see now you have 70% torque front, 70% rear. Yeah. Because we are in sport mode. Yeah. So this is not full power. When you want a yeah. full power, you go to track. And then it just gives me more rear, or what? No, then you have 100% front, 100% rear. Okay. So both now are at 70%. This is different than a, than a, a, let's say, normal car where you have one source of power, which is the engine, yeah. and then you distribute it front and rear. Yeah. Here you have four different sources of power. Yeah. So it's independent. So my first high-speed corner there, can I just say that the, the road, um, I mean, the way it lies on the ground, it's like, it's like proper race car. It's really cool. Torque vectoring helps a lot. Very, very solid, you know, and, and great feel. Very cool. Whoa! <laughs> so I just hit the brakes and the, and the rear wing instantly went oh, yeah, up, yeah. huh? Yeah. Dynamically. Yes. To help me decelerate the car. To be honest, it doesn't make sense above uh, under like 140, 150. Yeah. But I told the guys, please make it work also up to 80, yeah. just for the drama. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it looked awesome. Yeah. It looked really awesome. Or when you're on drift mode, it goes up as well. Yeah. Then it's all the way up. Because it gives you more downforce. Yeah. Yeah? On the rear. Not just more drag. At the same time, it stabilizes the car, giving more downforce, yeah. but also drag. Okay. So the idea is, with the throttle, you want to regenerate as much energy as, as possible. So you don't want the wing to go up when you are just lifting throttle. But when you are braking, then yeah. the wing goes up. So, this will, will it accelerate faster than my F1 car? To 100, yes. Yeah, yeah, no, but also after that? I'm not sure how much a Formula 1 car is, so, like, this is 9 seconds to 300. Yeah. I don't know, that would be interesting. I don't know. I think it's faster. You think it's faster than the... Because there was a drag race of a, a Bugatti Chiron versus yeah. a Formula 1 car. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, it was very close, yeah. but this is faster than a Shiro. So here, change modes. If you want to try, just track mode. So the throttle response will now be a lot more instant. Whoa! You can feel the difference straight away, huh? Yeah. That is, in that is incredible. The, the acceleration, I haven't even got 100% throttle yet. Yeah, yeah. The I can see it here. How much did I do? 90. Yeah, something like that. So I've never in my life experienced something like that. Well, it's the most powerful production car. It's just 
Ridiculous. Ridiculous. That was like 75% throttle. So I have my, my throttle trace here. So I can see exactly uh, the input that I'm getting. Torque power. And this is the power that I've been yeah. asking. Yeah. And max power output is? 1,400 kilowatts. 1,400 kilowatts. Yes. But I thought you said, uh, how much does the rear have? 1,000. Ah, and then 400 on front. Yeah. Maybe you go back to sport mode? I've lost... Uh, no, no, I quite like track mode. Okay. And you see also the spoiler changes in track mode? Yeah. Everything changes in track mode. The, the steering, the suspension. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So what, what does it do? Uh, oh, you have to go right here. <laughs> Jesus, that's not what you want to be doing. Yeah. It, it makes the suspension a lot stiffer, as you can yeah. feel now. Wow, it's very stiff now. The suspension, uh, the steering also gets stiffer. Yeah. Uh, the aerodynamics get uh, more aggressive. Yeah. Um, and the throttle response gets uh, more. So direct. can we do a drift on this thing now here, like on the uh, on this corner? Yes, without being in the car. No, why? Oh, come on. No, so no, let's no. Go no, 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 no. You can really trust me. No, we need no, no, Mate, it's not a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. No, don't do it. You have really to believe you have, me. You have to get no, used to the car. Don't believe me, Mate. It's not a problem. You have okay, to get used so to the car. So what do I do? I just I, I go for it. No, like you have to okay. get used to the car. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 oh Jesus Christ, I will kill you. I will kill you, Nico. Where do I have to go now? There. Oh, oh, wait, where are they? Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a CTO of one big, big car company, one of the biggest car companies in the world. Yeah. And Gordon was with him in the car. And exactly the same thing. Like the first lap he went into the car on the racetrack. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, I go straight into drift. He yeah. told him, you have to try a bit. Yeah. He was like, no, 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 I can do it, don't worry. He goes into drift, first corner, he loses the car, no. goes into poles and takes no. three poles out. No. no. Nothing happened to him, but the car was totaled. The car was broken? Yeah, no. absolutely. No. The worst thing, like the third pole, he, he uh, took off the ground, the piece remained and it was like a spike. It was very sharp. Yeah. And the car stopped on the third one with the battery straight on that spike. No! It went through the battery, but luckily nothing happened. No! Yeah. But you know what? Probably that's the good That's a good thing when you're trying to get money off them, because they, 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 they feel sorry. And they think, yeah. <laughs> and no, they think, <laughs> these guys don't feel sorry. <laughs> pleasure to drive the car. It's, it's quite a really enjoyable. The, uh, huh? It's a big difference from the previous time you were driving it. Yeah. Nothing was really working. No. <laughs> no, it's very, very enjoyable. Huh? For the, because you can drive it in a way where you don't necessarily notice the extreme performance. Yeah. But then you can also extract the extreme performance when you want. Exactly. That's what we wanted to achieve also, that it's comfortable and you have space, it's, yeah. you know, the air conditioning is working nicely, you have comfortable seats, you know, yeah. it's not a one-trick pony. Yeah. Oh, I literally, you cannot, I cannot, you can't yeah. hold your head up, huh? Yeah, yeah, the head yeah. goes. Yeah. Well, you were training in your neck for years. Yeah. Yeah, but actually in an F1 car, you don't need the front muscles. Yeah, you need the side. Your head is connected to the back all the time. Yeah, yeah. When were you driving in F1 last time? Six years. That was last time. 2016. Yeah. Missing it? No. Uh, 2018, I did a show run on the Monaco F1 track with ah, my dad. Cool. cool. My dad in his world championship car ah, and nice. me in my world championship car. Nice. That was really cool. Nice. So, you know, to, to watch my dad like on the Monaco F1 track, we were alone on the whole track and watching my dad with his 1982 car in front. And my dad, you, you know, straight away, he's a complete nutcase. So <laughs> you could see how he thought he was still 30 years old. You know? <laughs> so we got, we got lucky because uh, his engine somehow had some kind of a limiter in there. And so he could not push, uh, <laughs> otherwise he would have tried to go for the yeah, lap record yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. So you now need to do a hat trick. Your 
uh, kids need to be. Yeah, my, also. my daughter. So yeah. but, uh, hopefully not. So where do you want to be in 10 years with uh, Rimat? You know, Nico, I have this chapter one in my head and I'm telling that to our team for a long time. Chapter one for me is, you know, we are the world leaders in high performance uh, supercars, yep. electric supercars and shipping like cars to customers every week or, or several cars per year per, per, per month to customers. So of the, ne the, re the next remake would be that? Whichever, way. doesn't matter which one it is. Yeah. Uh, we are shipping uh, truckloads of batteries to big car companies, you know, every day. Yeah. The campus is built and we are the best employer in the region and we are financially successful. So that was always my chapter one and we yeah. are very close to finishing chapter one. I would say in two years we are there with the campus and everything. Yeah. And then we start with chapter two. Chapter you, two, there's lots of... You haven't shared chapter two yet. No, but there's lots of stuff on going, Nico. It's, uh, of course, Bugatti, you know, taking that to the next level. Um, with the batteries, increasing the production in the campus, building tens of thousands of battery packs for the big brands. And uh, we also have things ongoing with autonomous driving and mobility in cities. So not autonomous driving on a racetrack, but actually for, let's say, normal people. Yep. And you can expect some interesting things there. That's a bold, uh, a bold chapter two. Yes. Well, <laughs> if you look from, you know, where chapter one started in a garage and 20 year old guy, chapter two might not be that crazy. Wow, now we're going into fun, uh, fun section of the road here. Such a great, such a great handling on this car. It's really, really cool. That's good to hear. Proper rate, proper race car. Huh? But the grip limit is pretty impressive, also. Like until I, you know, I still haven't heard any tire, uh, tire squeaking or anything. Huh? And that's you know, pilot sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you put the... Look, I'm really pushing and there's no... Uh... This was oh, a That's way point. too much traction control. Hang on. Why is there so much traction control in sports? Track. <laughs> that's insane. It's insane. Oh, I don't actually know... Uh... Wow, it's insane. Insane, really insane. Super grip also eh, in the corners, and, and great balance as well. How are you feeling, Mate? I'm shut up. Everything under control. And what if we put drift mode on now at this? Uh... Then I'm out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Look at this road that they've given us here. Isn't this the one we did last time? No. These uh, these hairpins up here. No. no. It was. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. Proper. Proper amazing. Oh. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, all good. Tents are still dry. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is proper, proper unbelievable. Woo! So what is it on the, what, in terms of the brakes? Does the track mode do something different on the brakes as well? So basically what it does is choosing where to put temperature. Yeah. In the battery or in the brakes. Yeah. That's, the, that's your limitation in the end. Yeah. So in track mode, it looks how your battery temperature is increasing, how your brake temperature is increasing, and shifts the 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 energy between the two. I don't, I don't understand. You will be thermally limited at some point. So when you're on a truck driving, yeah, thermally limited on brakes. Uh, reverse. Thermally limited on brakes. On something. Yeah. Something will thermally limit you. Yeah. And the car decides where to put the heat, the energy into the battery or into the brakes. But how are they related? When you brake regeneratively, you can... But on track mode, we have regenerative braking? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. And so if the battery is hot, it will remove regen and just do yes. it with the discs? Yes. Okay. And if the discs are hot, it will... more, and the battery is okay, it puts more regen? Exactly. Okay, and it's changing that all the time depending exactly. on... Exactly. Okay. And the trick is to do that so that you Sounds don't feel... Sounds very complicated. Yes. <laughs> so that you don't feel it on the... On the 
brake pedal, then it yeah. feels the same for you. But what about the the amount of like how how far the, the car goes onto the limit of braking? No, that stays the same. That stays the same. Yeah, ABS is the same. Okay. It's such a it's such a joy to drive though. That's that's what you really achieved so well. Huh? That is really just so so much fun. That makes me proud so, to hear, uh, Nico. Thank it's you. It's so nice. The, I, like and I can, I trust it immediately. You know, yeah. I know it's gonna do what I want it to do. Even if it's my first time in this car. You know, now going up the hill there. I think that's a very big compliment to the whole team. And the one is coming now in um, later at the end of the year. The, the Mercedes doesn't have the, it's, it doesn't have anything special. It weighs 1,700 kilos. The acceleration is not special. The aerodynamics are not special. Yeah, I think it was yeah, something that sounded great on paper. Then in the end of its execution, you know. But of course, it is a Mercedes, though. Huh? That that in itself is. And it's uh, a Formula One engine. And it's a Formula One engine, so. That in itself is special. I have one of my original Formula One engine bits in my AMG One. Okay, cool. Yeah, they've used the part from my original F1 engine. Oh, really? They actually took a part. Oh, wow! And put it in my AMG One. Like what? The water pump or something? I don't actually know what. <laughs> I don't know. I think something on the. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what it was. I can't remember. But actually, the Valkyrie, since I was part of that project from the beginning, it's such an amazing car, and I, I will buy one myself. I hope. You will? Uh, well, I want to buy one of each car that has our technology in it. Wow. But having, you know, batteries for the Koenigsegg Regera, yep. the Aston Martin Valkyrie, Pini Fanino. So it's to be a bit expensive. It's, huh? it's an expensive hobby. <laughs> so, but you need to, for Valkyrie, you're going to have to buy a secondary one. Yeah, 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 yeah. The secondary market. Yeah, but there are some that you could buy. But that was an amazing project. You know, it, it's basically really a Formula One car for, for the road. Yeah. When you And you can see that by making a cross section through the car. Yeah. There is like you cannot put a needle anywhere. No. Everything is full just to have these Venturi tunnels for the aerodynamics. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you put the track pack and slicks and you do Formula One lap time, I think. Yeah, yeah. 3.5G. Yeah. Have you ever had a hypercar before, Nico? Like La oh. Ferrari. Ah, oh, La Ferrari. Yeah. Actually, I love That's that. That's the car. only one. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite ones of all time. Yeah. I love that car. Yeah. But the traction is a disaster. Like if you compare to this, yeah, yeah. you can't put the power down ever. You're always da, 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 always. In I like the, that. Huh? I like that. You like that you can't put the power down. Well, I like to power be limited. Sliding. Like, yeah, but you can power, use power slide here as well. I mean, yeah, if you if you want. To. But you put the power down as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's such a pity. How many like kilometers? The, the Ferrari. I mean, it's it's really one of the, my favorites of all time. But it would have required a, a front, front motor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one has, has been all about, I mean, of course, uh, the whole um, connectivity. It's been about the performance, right? But more in a, a lot as well in a straight line performance acceleration. And then your next one, you want to, for example, maybe focus more on aerodynamics. On the next Rimac car? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, to be honest, now I'm focused on the next uh, Bugatti car. Yeah. Having gone through this exercise with the Nevera, yeah. I know a lot of stuff that I would do differently. Yeah, but why? I thought that's just all going to be in the next Bugatti. No. Oh, well, the difference is Rimac will be all electric, Bugattis will be hybrid. Ah, and for now that's going to stay uh, yeah. like that. Okay, so, wow. All future Bugattis that we currently plan yeah. will have a combustion engine. Oh, wow. Yeah. And how's the integration been going with the 300 employees? That must be a huge challenge. Yeah, it's actually really interesting. You know, our management style is very different. Like my, my style is uh, full transparency, everything open and like freedom. Um, you know, if I trust you, you know, if you are in a company, it means I trust you. If I trust you, you know, go and do it. I, I'm not micromanaging other, unless there is something wrong. And uh, that has been very unusual for the guys in France and in Bugatti to have this transparency and to see everything that's going on in every part of the business. They were like, before, you know, everybody was doing their job and don't ask too many questions. But now you are involved in everything. So it's a culture change between the company. 
it's much more relaxed, much more open-minded, I would say. I mean, I have to say the previous management did an amazing job. People think that Bugatti was losing a lot of money and that they were, I don't know, selling the car for three million, but it cost the company six million or whatever. That's not the truth. It's not like that. The previous management actually built a really solid company, which was also financially successful, but we are now bringing it to the next level. Have you moved up in the company in terms of pay grade? I have never been the best paid person in the company. Actually, I wanted for Bugatti Rimac, I wanted to work for free, but they made me... For free? Yeah. Why? Because like my contribution, like I, I want the company to be as successful as possible. Like yeah. that's always my yeah, but first but how priority. are you going to pay for your uh, coffee in the morning? Well, you know, the if way I, I bought now the Bugatti, for example, is I sold a small part of my share. Ah, okay, okay. Like 1% of the company. Yeah. And, you know, that's where I see, you know, all of my, let's say, personal assets being sh shares in the company. Yeah, okay. So and if the company is more successful, you know, I I'm a b very big fan of employee stock option pools. Yeah. Every employee in the company, be it a manager or a cleaning lady or an engineer, has shares in the company. Everybody? Everybody. Yes. How cool is that? Because I want everybody to feel, you know, it's not Mata's company or Porsche's company. That's amazing. Right? It's my company. Who, who inspired you to do that? You know, I kind of did most of the stuff in the company just out of, you know, common sense. Yeah. Like, you know, you behave towards other, other people like you would like that somebody behaves towards you. Yeah. Just logic. You know, this was this is my first job. <laughs> I didn't do anything before. Yeah. I was in high school. Here I need to, this looks like a one where, yeah. where I need to lift. The car is quite high. It's 100 millimeters. Higher than LaFerrari? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah. It's again a compromise. We wanted the car to be useful on the road. See for the, these kind of things? Yeah, for these kind of things. A LaFerrari, it's uh, here you would not be. So, yeah, you would scratch it. You're happy with the combination of the colors and everything? Yeah, yeah, super happy. I, th I think you were looking at green, red, and this. Uh, no, I had, I had, there was a gray as well. Gray is, uh, is quite risky. You can there's you can get it wrong with grays, you know. Yeah. So because um, if a gray is too if it's too much blue in the gray or something like that, it can really go wrong. What's the project one going to be? Project one, I've gone for. Oh, <laughs> for the AMG one. What's your favorite color for the? Uh, I ordered mine Nevada. Nevada as well. Yeah. Again, if I want to drive the car, you know. It's not just my company, I, yeah. I'm one of the shareholders, so if I want to drive a car, I need to buy it. Yeah. So I actually ordered mine, and it's uh, visible carbon with red details. Like, this is going to be red. Okay. The whole outside Best. visible carbon? Yeah. Oof, are you sure about that? Yeah, absolutely, I love carbon. <laughs> I love carbon and machined aluminum. I love those materials. So you like my rims? <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> That's my... A little like bling bling. It's like machined aluminum. Yeah. And polished. This but holds. carbon outside, that's not a good idea. Why? No, you can't have a car in carbon. The the uh, Chiron is also carbon. Yes, but you don't really, that's... Um, blue, yeah. Huh? Tinted blue. You don't really see it that, that extreme. It's like a... I don't know. I think it's a shame then, to paint But then it. shiny carbon, of course. Eh? Or glossy, yeah. Gloss, yeah. Yeah, gloss, yeah. Ah, oh, this is... It's incredible. I still haven't... I still haven't reached 100%. I was almost... Almost full now. Yeah, but power is nowhere is there, near. Sorry? Power is nowhere near, 100%. But uh, is from sport to track, there's still more power? Yes, 30%. 30% more on the track? Yeah. Even more? Now you're at 70%, the track is 100 Why would you not put more on the sport? Because it's more than enough. Drop so, me off as well because I'm I'm flying as well now. You're flying as well. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Amazing. That's perfect. I never had a better airport shuttle. That's perfect. I've been on your uh, chauffeur today. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please, the question of the day: What do you think of the car? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know your comments. I want to hear them. Thank you so much. Bye, 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 bye. I have to catch my flight. Bye.